Hey everybody, this is Mr. Nation, and I am going to start you off on your new assignment that we have for today. And this is we're using PowerPoint 2016, and we're going to be using tables and charts. It's just a little activity that will show you how to uh, manipulate and include charts, graphics, um, line charts, flow charts, and organizational charts in your PowerPoints. So first off, you just want to go into Teams and you want to go to your assignments and you'll find an assignment out there called PowerPoint 2016 Tables and Charts. Go ahead and open up that assignment. And we're just going to go through our learning goals right now to get us started here. So this here assignment, um, learning goals, is that you'll be able to embed and manipulate charts, graphs, tables, spreadsheets, and um, flow charts and organizational charts into your PowerPoints. And here are some of the vocabulary that we're going to be using. You're going to learn about um, in your in your chart as we're inputting things. The vocabulary you've got tables, rows, and columns. Uh, those are the different parts of the chart. And then you also have a column chart, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, area chart, surface chart. Oh my. Uh, so there's all the different types of charts that we'll be able to use. Uh, in addition to that, you're going to look at pieces of the chart, which is the legend, the vertical access here, the horizontal access, the chart title, and then alternate text within it. So I've attached a couple videos here that we'll need to take some time to look at. So if you haven't looked at these two videos, the first one is uh, PowerPoint tables. You'll want to look at that video, so pause my video, watch that video so you understand what we're going to be doing with charts and how we can move around in it. Um, but then we're going to go ahead and get started here. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up our instructions, which you're going to just go ahead and download those instructions. So I've got the instructions open here. And when we open up our instructions here, I'll show you here on the screen. Um, our instructions, the first thing it says is download the uh, three files to your H drive. The PowerPoint 2016 tables practice, the PowerPoint 2016 charts practice, and the 2006 PowerPoint 2016's practice charts data. And those that one will open up in Excel. So we're going to go ahead and go back here. And start with that. So here is our tables practice. We're going to go ahead and click on the three dots on the far right hand side. Select the download option. Uh, let that file download here. Give it just a minute. And as we're doing that, we'll show you. So the um, file downloads, it shows up over here in the corner. And go ahead and click on that. And that should open that file up here in a minute. So there we go. We'll open it up in PowerPoint. Um, and we're going to want to save this to your H drive so that you have access to use it later as well. So we don't want to lose it when it's here. So let it go ahead and open. Uh, first thing when that comes up, you're going to have to click on this Enable Editing so you're able to edit it and work with it. On the, on the screen. So here's that opening up. Um, there's not really much in this PowerPoint. We're going to be putting stuff in it. So as you can see, it's it's uh, fairly blank. So we'll just be adding a few things to it. It's just a very small PowerPoint. So go ahead and say File, Save As, and then we're going to put this on our H drive. So you'll go ahead and browse. When you browse, you'll be able to find your H drive. I'm going to put it on. Um, a file uh, for my USB drive here that has uh, an H there's on my H drive here for my USB. So that is the PowerPoint practice, and you're just going to add your name to the end of it. First and last name. That way we know who, who it belongs to. So there. So that file's open. So we can go ahead and just minimize that out of the way. That's there. We're going to go ahead and download this other file so that we have it when we're ready to use it. It is called the Charts PowerPoint 2016 Charts Practice. So click on your three dots, select the download option. 
Um, it says multiple files. We're going to say allow. It comes up with a message. Just work through it. Open that file as well. And we're just going to leave that file open. Once you download it to your machine, you can just leave it open right now. So it'll be open out there so we'll be able to find it. We'll enable editing. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go ahead that and download it. We're going to save it, do a save as, and just save it to that H drive again, just where you were. So go ahead. And um, there we go. So here's, this is my H drive. So I'll go ahead and save it to that H drive there. And just leave that one with the name it is so we know what it is. So that comes up. There, you can go ahead and just minimize that. This is closed out of the way. And then the last file we need to download is an Excel file. So we'll go ahead, that is the PowerPoint 2016 charts and data. And um, actually, we're just gonna open that in Excel. We really need to do anything with it to download. So we're just gonna open it in Excel and we'll just keep it in the background out of the way for us today. So you have all these files open. So just remember which one we're working in. So we'll let that one go ahead and get started there. And this data we'll use in the second part of this assignment. So um, we'll have everything open and ready to go here in a few minutes. So, so now I'm going to go back to our directions. So the first thing our direction says after we download that, it's uh, right here. It says open the practice team's PowerPoint. We just did that. And then it says on the last slide, insert a table with five columns and three rows into the content box. Okay, so we're going to go and go back to our PowerPoint tables slide, show that we had. And on the last slide, so we got one, two, three, four slides. We're going to click on there. And then inside here, this is our content box. Right here, it shows you insert a table. When you click on that, it's going to ask you what you want. So it said, um, I did five rows, five columns, and three rows. So you're just going to update those in there say OK, and then it's going to automatically put those rows and columns in this table. So I want to show you when you're working with a table, you select the entire row. If right here, you'll see there's this, this black arrow or the arrow. When you do that, that will select the entire row that you have. Um, if you're going to select a column, you do the same thing. Go up there. It'll select that whole column. That is the way you want to select your columns. You do not want to go and select a column by doing just doing this that will not work you have all kinds of problems if you do so you want to make sure you get the down arrow click on it and selects a column same way on the side here you get the 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 uh, arrow pointing to the right click on it and it'll select that row we're selecting rows so that's how and when you're in a column here in a table you'll see there's all kinds of table design functions that we'll be able to work with and we're going to look at some of those here in a little bit. So we'll go back to our instructions, pop that up here. So we just did that. It says in the header row, which is the first row of your table, type the names of the month starting with January through May. Okay, and then in the second and third rows, type sales amounts of your choice, examples being 1329. You can put numbers in there, dollar amounts in there. Okay. So we're going to start here. This is our header row. It's a top row. You see it's a little bit darker. So you're going to click in that. We're just going to do January and February. Um, make sure you spell it right. March, April, and May. And then in these other columns, it says to go ahead and just put some numbers. So we're going to put, say, um, 325, 456, 695, 2, 28, 65, um, 42, 51, uh, 195. And I'm just tabbing between columns when I'm doing this. So 250, uh, 352, 650, and say 745. So you just got some numbers in there, like it says. 
back to our instructions over here. And it says, change the style of your table to a light style two accent three. Okay, so that is a style on table. So we're gonna go back to our PowerPoint, uh, bring up our PowerPoint here, and here's your style. So there's all kinds of styles. So we're gonna, you'll um, select your PowerPoint, we're in it. Then you're gonna drop down the styles here. And styles are broken down into three categories. You've got light, you've got medium, and then you have dark. So we're looking for light, and it was accent. So this is light style one, light style two. Uh, let's see, what, what was our, what did we want? So we want light style two, accent three. Okay, so here we go. So light, style one. Okay, so here, so this would be accent, light style two, accent one, two, and three. What that does is it changes the format. Style just changes the format of your um, table. So it looks nicer. It gives you a, a shadow or fill on the, um, on the header column there on the header row there so that you know where your headers are and it's easy to work with. So it just gives you a diagram. It draws out all around it from that. We're going to flip back to our instructions. And it says, insert a column on the left side of the table. Okay. Pop back here. So this is our left side of the table. So we're going to get our solid arrow and we're going to click and get that and then right click we have the option here to insert. When you click on insert, it's a column. As your options, insert column to the left, to the right, above, a, a rows to the above or bottom. So we're gonna insert a column to the left of that, like it says. And we go back here and our instructions say, um, on the second row of the new column, type north region, and on the third row, type South Region. Okay, so we're gonna set this up for sales. It's, just, it's just a, a sales report. So we got the North Region and the South Region. So we're gonna just to label those in there. That's on the, um, on our, there. So here on the uh, second row, we're gonna type North Region. And then move down and we'll type South. region down on that one. So pretty simple what we're doing here. Um, so we've done that, done that. Then it says delete the last column. Okay. So we're going to go back into our table and we're going to delete our last column. So that would be this one here. And we're going to just select that. Oh, I have some, there we go. Select it. Right click on it and then we can um, delete. There's where your delete is up here in your column option. So we're going to delete that last, delete the column 